Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Church Design Co. And today I'm going to show you how to build your very own sermons page in Squarespace. So there's two ways this is going to help you. First, I'm going to go under the hood and show you how I created this sermon page, which is actually on a template that you can get if you want to head start at Church Design Co. Um, it works the same as Bold Church template and the Simple Church template. So if you have any of those, this is going to show you under the hood of how it works. The second thing this is going to do is it's actually going to show you how you can add more messages each week and build out your page. So the very first thing we want to do is kind of dive under the hood and take a look at what we have going on. So we have a standard page here at the beginning, what well, looks like a standard page, but really what it is, if we go over here, you'll notice that there is this pin icon. So if I click this here, I can go in deeper and I can see that this is actually a blog. And we've actually set this up um, for each of these to be blog posts. So each sermon has its own page um, and a blog post. So then if we go back here and take a look, if you were gonna create this from scratch and you didn't have uh, the blog hooked up yet, you can actually go up here to your main navigation in the sidebar, you can click plus, and you can go down and where it says blog right here. You can match up that pin icon, click this, and then what you can do, once you click that, you will actually have this just like this, except it'll say blog. And then if you click this gear icon, this is the settings for the blog page as a whole. So you'll see we have a title, we have the navigation title, so we can actually change what it says um, up here in your main navigation across the top of your site. This could be messages, videos, um, so right here we have it as watch. And then you have your URL slug, which is yourchurch.com slash, and then what you want it to say for people to reference um, and for SEO purposes. So you want to keep that pretty consistent for your title. Um, the last piece we're going to cover today, which is very important, basically how all these pieces come together, is if you click advance, we have hooked up categories and tags, and we've used those to help manage all of our sermons as we add them. So if I click categories, you'll see I have series. So series one, two, and three. So we've used the category section to define each new series that we have um, for our messages. Um, then we have tags, and we're using tags to define our speakers. So these are our pastors, guest pastors, associate pastors, um, anyone who we wanna tie a speaking um, with that message, with that sermon. So those are kind of the main pieces, and that's the block page as a whole. And if we want to dive in the page, so whenever you have any page in Squarespace, you have a gear icon that's going to give you kind of the, the really behind-the-scenes technical pieces that we just saw. But then at the top, you have this edit button. So if you click that, that's actually going to edit the page itself. So if we go here and look, you can see where we just have a standard... Um, header that we just added one one headline here that just says online messages and just like any other Squarespace page you can click in here and change that and make it say whatever you want it to say um, right on the fly but then you'll notice down here it says manage posts and that's because like I said this is just a post page it's just a blog page now you can actually have multiple blogs on your site so you can have a traditional blog that has news and updates and stories um, but then you can also still have this dedicated to your sermons, um, like we're doing here with Watch. So it says Manage Post. When I click this, come over here, and this is all the settings for this. So this is more of your styles and like the guttering and all that good stuff. Um, you can get specific, like Read More link. I can say I want to show it, and you'll see how it adds that Read More. I like to keep it clean and simple, so I just hide that. And then someone can click on the image or the text and actually go to that post. Um, but one thing that you might want to see is selected here is primary meta content. And I have this selected the category. So if you remember, we're saying all of our categories we're setting up as our series title. So if I click this as none, you'll see it goes away right here. But if I come back and I say categories, now it's going to pull in whatever series is associated with that post. And those are the main settings. Now just like anything else in Squarespace 7.1, you 
you can quickly change the whole look of a page by changing its color settings. So it's got some really cool stuff built in. I love Squarespace and especially 7.1 update. You can quickly change these pages and build them out. Now the next piece is these archive blocks. Now these are built into Squarespace just like everything else on this page. Um, so let me show you here. If you click the pencil icon to edit, this is where I've selected this block called watch. And so I've selected it here. So now everything inside of this drop down is associated with only this block. So when I go to display, I can say I want it to be a drop down. You can do other ones like see if it'll show you a list. Obviously, as you keep building out this more series on your site, that's going to get pretty long and take up a lot of space. So we're going to do this to drop down. We're going to add a title called series title. Then we're going to come in here and we're going to say group by category. Because remember, we're going to tag each sermon with a category based on our series. So that's how it's pulling that in. So if I cancel that for now, now I go to speaker. And if you remember back on that first page, we're setting our speakers to be set up by tags. So I just want to pull in all the tags for this block. And then finally we have date. So this is actually the date that the sermon took place. So we're just going to set this to say month. And so that's going to give us a nice clean filter. As we build out this page and we have 30, 40, 50, 60 sermons, um, this is going to let our visitors come and quickly navigate and like search through series, search through speaker, or search by dates. So it's pretty um, handy there. So now what I want to do is I actually want to jump in and let's take a look at a single page and then we'll actually go in and build a single page. So remember, if you click on this here, you're going to get to the single page, um, which is cool about Squarespace. You can kind of navigate through and then edit a page or if we go back to watch over here, we can hit this little arrow icon and come over and now we have all of our series right here. So if I select this one, I'm gonna get this page here. Now there's, again, there's two pieces. So if I go and do settings, um, now I'm here back at all the behind the scenes meta, the technical pieces of this post. So if we look here, we have status, which is when it was published. And we can see how we had that set for Sunday the 26th. So that's going to be pulling in our date for this sermon. Then we have tags. So you can see where we have speaker name one. So this is the actual speaker that we want. Then we have categories. So if you remember, this is going to be our series. So we have it tagged series title one. You can see where we can add it, and I'll show you in just a second. We'll go in and set up um, a brand new sermon. All right, so everything else is pretty simple, and you do have some advanced things that you can look at um, and really get into as you get a hold of the basic setup. The last piece we want is options, and we want to go and basically add an image here. So this is pretty simple. If you don't have an image, you can click in the middle of it, and it's going to let you go... Um, either through Unsplash and find an image that you want to use, but most likely you'll have a series image that you've created. So you can go and pull it up on your desktop and add it right here. This, if you go back to the watch page where you had that grid and all the different thumbnails, that's the only place where this is being used um, in this template, is to fill out that grid page. All right, so now, just like we did the watch page, let's edit this and let's see what we have. So here we have our title. Now because we went in the back end and set this to be connect with a series, we gave it a category, um, that's going to automatically display right there. And because we gave it a publish date, that's going to automatically display right here. So then what we're going to do is just do a video block. And again, I'll show you how to create that in just a second from scratch. But this is video. If we click and kind of go under the hood, you'll see where we have a video URL and then we have our thumbnail right here and a caption if you'd like. Now you don't have to do a thumbnail so if you don't have a thumbnail um, it's just going to show your video preview um, or whatever you have saved in YouTube. 
Um, it's also important to know that you can do YouTube, you can do Vimeo. Um, you really want, it's best practice to host your sermon on another platform like that. Um, if you just try to host it just on your website without linking to YouTube or Vimeo, then it's really gonna drag down your website because every time a visitor comes and hits play, it's trying to load that whole video in the back end. So your whole website's gonna be um, slower than just linking it to a service like YouTube or Vimeo, where when they kick, they click play here, it's gonna just run off of that server and your website's still gonna be nice and quick. Now what's cool about these templates is you can have video and you can also have audio. And for those who do one or the other, um, you can just delete it. You can just delete this block, um, this block here and just use the one that you need. So pretty simple to do. Then we just have a text block where we have a heading, we have some paragraph text, and we have a quote. And at the very end, you're gonna have speaker name. Now if you tagged your sermon back in that settings, um, it's gonna automatically pull in the correct speaker name so you don't have to do anything to touch that. So you're really just adding a video, adding audio, and adding text. And that's all you have to do on this page. So, now it's time, let's go add a new sermon. So you just had this awesome Sunday, you got this great message, here's how you add it to your site. So you're gonna to come to watch. Now if you wanna go back to the very beginning, here's our, here's our intro into Squarespace of the dashboard, we're gonna hit pages, we're gonna go down to watch, we're gonna hit the arrow, we're gonna come over, hit this plus, and we're gonna add a new sermon. All right, so first thing first, let's give it a name. New message. Okay, so now let's build out this page and then we're gonna hook up the categories and tags. So first thing, let's throw in a video. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna grab the video block, we're gonna drop it in place. Now, what we wanna do is get a sample video, which I did not do. So we're just gonna go to YouTube, focus music. Sure, that sounds great, let's grab this one. Um, let's see here, let's go and let's get the share. We'll copy this link here, come back over. We're gonna add the URL right here. There's our video um, that's hosted on YouTube. Now we can just leave it like this or we can give it a custom thumbnail. So we're gonna actually grab, let's say this is in that same sermon um, series that we already have. So let's see if this will work sometimes, which is right now. You'll see where I have it, but it's not loading. It's a little um, kind of quirk in Squarespace where sometimes it just doesn't actually show this. Sometimes it will on the front end. Sometimes you just have to come back and try to upload this later. On the other day I did this and I was like scratching my head. I was like, everything's in place, why isn't it showing? So we'll, we'll see if it shows. If not, we'll come back and see um, if we can get it to work. But don't, don't get too stressed out if this isn't showing the thumbnail right here. Um, you can always exit out, come back later, and it will most likely work for you. All right, so that's really all we need to do to add that. Now we're gonna come down here and we're actually gonna add an audio. So we're just gonna hit audio block. That's a built-in Squarespace block that you can drop in. Now for this, um, audio doesn't take as much space as a video, so we're actually just gonna go on the computer. And let's see, I'm gonna search. I know I have one uh, file in here called Natural, I believe. It's an MP3, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna open it, we're gonna let that load. And then with this, we're going to give it a title. So we'll just say new message, because that's the title. And then you can give the speaker name here, or you can give the series name, whatever you, you'd like to do. So that is loaded. And the only other thing I like to do here is go to the design and do show download link. And that's gonna add a little download button right here. So if a visitor comes and they don't wanna keep the browser tab open to listen to it, they can download it to their computer and listen to it whenever they want. So we'll hit apply, so we got that saved. And then the last piece we wanna do, we actually have, we'll get rid of that text block and we wanna add one down here. So we'll go and hit text. And now we're just gonna say notes. We're gonna change this to a heading. 
We're gonna hit enter. We're still in the same text box. We're gonna actually add our text here. Um, and then let's say we have a scripture and we want the scripture to be a quote. So we'll highlight it. We'll come up here, we'll do quote block. And now we can actually um, come in here, give it a quote. I like to kind of beef this up. You know, you can actually give it like a nice big chunky quote. And then at the bottom, you can say like, you can give it its uh, Matthew 12, one through two or something, whatever you want to reference right there. So you don't have to do that. I like to do that to add more context. And if someone's coming, it gives them a scripture that they can dig in themselves and kind of learn more about the message. So that is our sermon. But we're missing one thing. We got to hook up the categories. This is the piece that makes it all come together. So we'll go to the gear icon. And then right here, we need status. It's set to draft. So we want to actually publish it. And if you notice, it publishes it at the current date of today. I'm assuming this happened on a Sunday, so we'll go back to the 13th, click that, and now our date's updated. Um, our tags, remember this is our speaker. So let's say we have a brand new speaker, and we're gonna say speaker name, if I can type here, we're gonna say speaker name three. And then you wanna hit return or enter, and then once they see the circle, that means that it uh, has successfully like synced and it's now a new category on your blog so you can use it on other posts. All right, so we're gonna go back. Now we gotta add our category, which is again, we're using as our sermon series. So if I start typing here, you can see where I have series, um, whatever is current category already existing on my blog will kind of pop up. So I can say series title one, I can collect select that and then I'm actually gonna go and click it once it's selected I get that check icon I know we're good to move on all right so that's my status that's my date that's my tag for my speaker and that's my category for my series so the last thing I need to do is add the thumbnail that's going to show up on the blog index page or that watch index page so I'm gonna click here I am gonna go and try to quickly find this in all of my lovely folders here. There it is. Boom. We're gonna drop that in. All right, the last thing you might wanna do, we have this URL, that's kind of a messy URL. So I wanna say watch, I wanna say new message, whatever that new message title is. That way, if someone wants to um, share it or search online, it has a nice clean URL that they can go to. We're gonna hit save. So not everything updates right up front. That's okay, we'll do it. We'll come up here and hit save. And then, all right, so we see we have new message. We have our thumbnail here. And when we go over to our page, we have our title. It pulled in our category, it pulled in our published date. And hey, even though it didn't show us our thumbnail, our thumbnail is here live on the site, so that's a plus. We can hit play. We can get this nice music to help us focus for a day. Um, so this would obviously be your sermon message. And then down here, we're gonna have our audio that plays, our notes, our speaker. So this is automatic from our tag. And all this is automatic from our categories and dates. And all this is what we just added, so we're looking good. It even does a handy um, message to get you to the next and previous um, message as well. So now when we go, the last thing, we're going to go back to watch. And if all worked well, we're going to have our new message right here. And you can see where all you had to do is create the new message, and now it published it right here, um, the very first one, and it pushed everything else aside. And you'll also notice <clears throat> that we did add a speaker. So now our speaker name three is now going to actually automatically come into um, our tags and our categories and you don't have to touch it. So once this page is set up, all you have to focus on is adding new messages each week and you're good to go. So I hope this helped. I know we covered a lot. I moved fast. Um, but if you have any questions, just... Uh, you know, get in touch with us at Church Design Co. or leave a message if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.